Hello everyone, welcome back to War Mongrels. Last time we broke Manfred out of prison, led our way out through this courtyard, and we're now ready to regroup. So let's take Manfred here at the back, walk into the objective circle, and see what this little posse has to say to one another. Fuck, I almost shot you. Greta, who's this? He's our secondary objective. You speak German? A bit. Right, let's switch to German. What some Teufel bist du? Name's Manfred, and I'm with the AK. You are part of the AK? What, German killing Germans? You don't know the fuck about me. So maybe explain yourself, Jerry, before I shoot- Hey, shut up, you two! We need to find the way out. They don't bury the dead here, so they have to transport the bodies out somehow. Now that may be our chance. Let's get to the back gate, then. Watch yourself, Fritz. My trigger is very sensitive. Fred, stop your damn babbling. We're in this together. Oh, as you wish, princess. Okay. Three heroes. Big area to get through. And they want us in this truck. Okay, that's not going to be difficult at all, right? So first of all, getting on the other side of this wall. Not the way we came, so we're going out of this door. Key? Do we have a key? Breaking in. Oh, just locked. Okay. We can cross to here quite happily. Those people are poor bastards. I'm sorry we can't save all of you. So it's these two guys in here are the next spot we need to get to. That gives us a down ladder into the courtyard. All right, then let's waltz on over here. All these people. I wish I could come back here and bust them out with full force. Trust me, I'd have some matters to settle here, but that is not our job. <laughs> Seems like you saw nothing so far in this fucking war. I wonder. They wonder what hit them. I feel like I should get an achievement or something for saving those four people at the cost of two of my very precious sniper bullets. You really trust a German? It's the commander's call to assess any new assets, not mine. Yeah, but I'm asking you. The Gestapo tortured him. That is sufficient evidence of his credibility for me. Yeah, or he is a double spy ordered to infiltrate our operations. To be honest, his eyes speak to me quite the contrary. I don't base my judgment on a woman's intuition. And I don't care. I have my orders. Right. Are we going to kill these two? I would like to. But how? We can open the door for our man in uniform. He could stab one whilst the other gets stabbed. I'm just not sure quite how to go about that. We also probably have to worry about a dog or two in the coming area. Although I don't see any. So perhaps not. Let's get these two back somewhere safe. And just see about popping a door open. Just saying hello, you know. Now, could we ever whistle in such a manner that we only get one of these guys? We could. And that guy... Oh shit. God damn it. Yeah, this is not going to be how we win. 
Certainly not. Although, that said, if they're going to start coming up this ladder, are you going to come up the ladder? You are. Now, you just have a question mark, not... Man, this is not going how I planned. What I really need... Oh God, if we're going to have to just shoot everybody that comes up this ladder, I swear to God. We got caught from behind the wall. <laughs> All right, that was going way better than intended, but not the way I really wanted to do this. So, back to whistling. Whistle for one, please. Show me that guy's vision cone. That guy does not give a shit about what's happening outside of his hut. means we can do that quite comfortably and then this even more comfortably um, we should probably knock these bodies back just a little bit further that way if anybody else does climb up we have a little bit more breathing room Then we have to figure out how we're going to get on that truck. Because we don't have a whole lot of other options, it seems. The guys at the gates are probably going to have to go, unless we're going down up this ladder and down that one. That seems to be the only two ways in. Front gate, ladder. Now, our guy in uniform probably doesn't have to worry too much. So I wonder how much, like, waltzing around and quietly stabbing folks we could do. Because I've yet to see a dog in these parts, so... You know. There's a lot of bushes, which is good. That's places we can drag people with our whistle and such. Oh, wait, yes. I had forgotten that we cannot let officers see us. Officers will see through our uniform disguise, which is a bad time. Quickly, quickly. Grab. Do you see this far back? You do. So you're going in this bush, sir. Okay, that's one. Can I whistle for one guy here? Not really. But hey, every one helps. If we want to get back up on the gangways, we have to do it from the other side of this space. There other ladders? There's that ladder there in front of you. Are there officers on this end of the world? There's one walking right there. Okay, we got a lot of a lot of problems. A lot of stuff going on.
can do. If we're right there. Whistle. Get ourselves in the bushes. Wait for our whistle on cooldown. I'm still preparing. Least yet. Ah, oh, it's too slow. You're not interested in a pocket watch. Right, then what if we do the combo Pizza Hut and Taco Bell? So, stopwatch just here, outside of that guy's field of view. And then from just there, whistle. That'll do. Oh dear. They don't know what to make of this. They do, they do know what to make of this. Guys, it's nothing really. Oh, jeez. I can't. Okay, we just barely got away with that one, though I'm not super happy about how we did it. These two having a conversation kind of sucks. We are going to be limited by what we can achieve alone down here. Obviously, if we had lead, we could do, like, strategic double kills and the like. What is that? Handgun ammo? Ah, oh, sick. It's for lead or Greta. Greta's going to be the one we're going to want to get that. Let's bring these two back into the fold. got no one covering this side so let's go fetch that ammo we can use it in our silenced weapon which should do us a world of good we still have the torch though I'm not really super confident on how well to use that but eight rounds for a silenced handgun is beautiful what's our range on it not heaps. But say Greta was like here and we whistled for these two guys, right? Greta, please shoot that one while we stab that one. Go. Shit. This is not what I wanted. I think the execution order just wasn't quite as clean as I needed it to be. Because they certainly wouldn't have heard the gunshot out of the silenced weapon. Yep, 
If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing and expecting a different result. So let's see who is more right here. You, please, be ready to shoot that guy. While we are ready to stab that guy. Okay, Greta's range is not nearly as good as we need it to be for this. That's the key problem. At least we learned something. We didn't learn much, but we learned something. far does this guy see? Far enough, unfortunately. I don't think we could do it from the bushes. I don't think that's going to work out for us. We'd have to stand just here. But I think what might be easier, if we get these two down, bring lead and his knife into the picture. Maybe we're just going to have to do a little double stab instead. So we'll get Greta stood somewhere safe. Lead. Can hide in there for a second. Manfred. Gonna have to. I guess we don't even need to whistle from the bushes. We just want to whistle from as far away as we can. Whilst being outside of the view cone. Which actually is much less easy than I had hoped. If we stand there. Oh shit. No. Right. That officer saw us, I guess. And now they've seen lead in the bushes. God damn it. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. I didn't realize this guy could see so bleeding far. just got so few options on where else to go apart from I guess there's kind of a vast emptiness over here tell you what let's get you in the safety of a bush can anyone see this guy you're doing spotlight duty, so you're not seeing up here. Going to whistle right there. Oh god damn Greta. <laughs> you know, just the person who's not hiding at all. Right. You stay there. You are hiding in this bush, please. And we were going to attempt to whistle on this guy right about here. As long as this guy doesn't look over in this direction. That's one less person to worry about. I will take your ammunition. I'll move this body into this bush, I think. 
And that is one fewer guy out here to scupper future plans. That is an officer. That is a problem for us. It's just a question of how are we going to take out someone else now? One person at a time. If we could just deal with all of the officers, we'd be in a much better place. Unfortunately, this guy's patrol kind of goes right underneath that spotlight, doesn't it? And I don't think the officers really listen to whistling. Not that we can get close enough for that, particularly. That gun is just obnoxiously loud. Right. What's next? I want someone up on the walkways. But until we can deal with at least one of these guys... I mean, that guy can actually see the ladder, so... At least him. That's not going to happen. We have one round left in our sniper rifle, so very little to do about that. That guy walks right into that path. Greta. I wish we, we got like 17 silenced handgun rounds. We must be able to do like heaps of work with that question is, where and when? Because if I could just hide somewhere along here, we could drag these two up much more easily. I guess we can put ourselves down right here. Then Manfred. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, Manfred. Where is this guy looking? If we whistle here. Ah, oh, shit. God damn. That guy sees us so fast. This courtyard is a ruddy nightmare. everybody if you're trying to shoot through a building I don't imagine that's going to end well for them okay we need a new approach about this ladder, right? Greta, you're going back up into safety. We're going to take a little walk, avoiding every officer. So this guy does not see this very back corner right there. So if they turn around, They will, of course, eventually. Is 
we can stand right here safely. Now this guy is going to turn around again, not see us. Now, I don't think anyone is seeing this guy either. If this guy isn't suspicious of us standing in a bush, which is good. When that guy turns around, makes another pass going the other direction. How loud is the knife? Not too loud, I think. We can do this. And Oh, we're looking suspicious in a bush. Poor timing. Um, this guy makes two passes. I wonder if we could just stab this guy and move him faster. Lay down, lay down, lay down. That guy doesn't see that corpse. We'll be okay. We can move the body in a second. He's chilled out. He doesn't mind. Put that guy down in this bush. And then quickly up the ladder. Alright, we're making progress again. That's good. Oh, you dickholes. I, guys, I tripped. I fell. Alright, we're back here again. Just real quick. Just stab. Real fast. Stab. Lay down. Lay down. Get in a bush. Oh, God. Stab. <laughs> okay, this has not worked. This has not worked. Brain. Why can't you be patient for, like, four seconds? I think my problem here okay I can stand just there and this guy needs to do his about turn stab body body Bush. Lay down. Okay. Part of me wishes my brain. Uh, part of my brain wishes that there was a different lay down and stand up button, so I could spam lay down and not lay down, get up, lay down, get up, just in the wrong moment. You know. Let's get back up here. And get over here fast without laying on the ground. I mean, all I did was run. You guys don't have anything to worry about. What I have to worry about is I can't stab one of these guys without the other one hearing. Even from here... I can't whistle and have any one of them here. So... Oh, I can. Now, 
How loud is the dagger? How loud is the dagger? Ah, oh, you dickhole. You can't shoot me through a window, sir. Alright, how many of you are going to come up this ladder? How many of you do I have to shoot? Came way too far out of that room. I still have the eye over my head. Does that mean people aren't actually suspicious of me right now? I don't know what the rules are. I'm just gonna walk over here, you know? Oh, there's a load of boxes here that I can't walk past. That's the biggest bull lake in the history of the world. And we're being shot at again. Oh, it's not going well. It's not going well. What if we stab that guy instead? More people see us, of course. Dumb. This is so dumb. If my friends get found at this point, I'll be mad. This guy doesn't care anymore. Okay. You know, just a casual bit of like murder. But hey, the uh, area around the truck is now a whole lot more quiet. Could I? I can't get anybody's attention down there with a whistle right now. But hey, more people are dead. I assume I can still hide bodies in the truck if I need to. Which could be important in a second. If I walk over here and just like stab you, say. One down. Body, truck. We got full ammo. Those two guys. Thank God he didn't see me. These two guys are just like guarding the gate, so one down. We can do more work here at the truck. I'm gonna imagine we can do a lot of work here with whistling. After this guy is going the opposite direction. Put the corpse in the truck. Alright, if we take out this guard, we might just be able to walk our way in here. Honestly. 
Not elegant, but, you know, since when was war elegant? drop you off there. That's fine. I wonder if I could just shoot this guy now. Let's go back. Fetch Greta. We could not be seen by that guy's vision cone on our way down. That would be great. He's turned. You run to here as well, please, and thank you. Right, this guy is still on that spotlight. I think that's our biggest problem right now. I wonder. Alright, everyone in the truck, right now. Greta, get under this rack and don't even breathe. I'm disguised, so I'm driving. Just run him down. That's satisfying. It was not elegant, but we're out of there. I wonder how many of us will be on the next mission, now that we have a pool of five of us to... Uh, six of us to pick and choose from. Five? Six? We've got the two originals, the bear trap guy and Greta, Lead and Rubble. That's six, I think. But for now, that just leaves me to say thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. And I'll see you guys next time for Chapter 6, Opportunities.